Well, great views from up here on Papamoa Hill. You can see in the distance the coast there, maybe in the haze. Uh, Graham, this would be a pretty good place to go in the case of a tsunami, but this is just one small region in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Um, how do you know where to go in a tsunami? Andrew, in a tsunami, you're right, this is where you want to be. You want to be up a hill or a long way inland. Throughout New Zealand, all of the coast is exposed to tsunami, but at different heights. Mm. We have tsunami evacuation zone mapping throughout the country that tells you where a tsunami might get to and where you need to evacuate from. You can find that on your local civil defense website or a link to this field trip. We'll have a link to NEMA's website, which shows them all. The important thing is with shakeout once a year, yep. have your tsunami hikoi, practice your evacuation route. So know those zones, know your evacuation route. The zones have been computer calculated to allow for all possible tsunami sources. Mm. Over on the east coast, where you're facing a nearby fault line, we can have that Japan 2011 size tsunami where it could run up to 35 meters above yep. the ocean or up to seven kilometers inland. Mm. And the zones allow for that difference. Here in the Bay of Plenty, it's a bit lower, but the maps here allow for the right size tsunami. Throughout the country, you have a consistent standard, which is a red zone at the coast, and then an orange zone and a yellow zone being the oh, biggest. Okay. The key thing is if you feel a long or a strong earthquake, longer than a minute or hard to stand up, you need to evacuate all of the zones. Don't wait for anything. You don't know how big that tsunami might be and it might come fast. They've got those different colored zones to allow for a tsunami that might be coming from a long way away. Those distant sources, South America, where it might take 12 hours to get here, and emergency managers will have time to put out an official warning and tell you which zones might need to be evacuated. But remember, in a long or a strong earthquake, get gone from all the zones and don't wait for anything because every minute and every minute counts. Yeah, good, but still know your zone. So know, you know your zone. You need to know at least what the the total area of all the zones is. If you're in Wellington, the blue line is at the back of all of your zones. Mm. Know that and know your route to evacuate from all of those zones. You, you only need to know about the individual zones in an official warning and they'll tell you that when it comes out. And it's also a good idea to know the zone of a place you might be visiting. That's right. You can probably find the zone for the place you're going on holiday or visiting around the country. It might be on a signboard down by the coast like here at Papamoa but you'll definitely find it on your local council website for that place. And it's a good idea to have a look at that and plan your evacuation route. Just like anything related to earthquakes or tsunami, have a plan and think through what you might do ahead of time so that you don't hesitate and you're confident and you move quickly on the day.